All right, folks. So we are going to be starting up a new series here. It's called Hacknet. It is a, a terminal simulation uh, hacking terminal-based hacking simulation. Um, I played uh, Uplink a while ago, um, and uh, it was very enjoyable. Um, and you know, ever since then, I've been kind of uh, on the lookout for other games that are similar to it. And um, I saw some DLC just came out for this one. It's called like Labyrinths or something like that. Um, so I picked it up, and uh, figured uh, why not give it a go. Um, hmm. So let's uh, let's see what it has in store for us, huh? This is uh, looking good so far. It's a nice uh, nice simula simulation. Very Linuxy. Um, all right, so 14 day timer expired. Initializing failsafe. Hi, dot dot dot. This is strange, stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Huh. That escalated pretty quickly. Uh, Alright, we got some more things initializing. Loading modules, complete. Loading nodes, complete. What does that say? Reticulating splines? Initialization complete. Launching something. Uh, this music is nice, though. Alright, tutorial. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Be in the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Tin oh. Okay, that was kind of loud. Uh, connect to a computer by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on a node on the network map. Connect to your own computer. Uh, on the map now by clicking the green circle. Memory device, PC, blah blah blah. Alright, good work. The first thing to do on any system is to scan it for adjacent nodes. This will reveal more computers on your map that you can use. Scan this computer now by pressing the scan network button on the display module. Scan network. Uh, locked. Net map V1.7. That's nice. <laughs> RAM. Oh, we got RAM. Okay, I wonder if we can upgrade our system uh, like we did it, like we could in Uplink. Um, that should be all you'll need from your own server for now. Disconnect from your machine. Uh, there we go. Disconnect. It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another computer is illegal under the United States Code Act 1030-18. Proceed at your own risk and connect to an outside machine by clicking a blue node on the network map. Dangler Interactive. Uh, okay. This VM's terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary internet interface for navigating and interacting with... Blah, I can't talk. Navigating and interacting with nodes. As a command can be run by typing it out and pressing enter. A computer security system and open ports can be analyzed using the probe or nmap command. Analyze computer you are currently connected to. <laughs> uh, that's nice that they slid uh, nmap in there because that's actually the name of a... A uh, very legitimate IT security um, uh, program. So, which actually does exactly what it is that uh, the game says it does. It, Nmap is a port scanner. Um, if you run it against a actual real live computer, it'll tell you what you can connect to. So that's nice. That is actually fairly realistic. I'm liking this so far. Um, all right, so. Here you can see the active ports, active security, and the number of open ports required to successfully crack this machine using port hack. Alright, well that's not so realistic, but other than that, pretty good. This machine has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you're prepared to, it is possible to crack this computer using the port hack program. Run the program port hack. Alright, port hack. Yeah, that's cool. Little vector thingy swirling around there. Password found. Hey, it's just that easy. Oh man, if only. <laughs> Congratulations, you've taken control of an external system and are now its administrator. You can do whatever you like with it. However, you should start by scanning for local nodes to locate additional computers. Do this using the scan command. 
See, it's nice that they have like a GUI thing, but they also have this terminal over here that all you can type the commands into. I like that. Uh, no results, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file system. List files and folders in the current directory. All right. Let's see. Ooh, Linux commands work. Nice, we got home, log, bin, and sys. Not a uh, complete Linux file system, but it's nice that they use the actual Linux commands. All right, navigate to the build. I mean, the bin, all of these are legitimate uh, files that you would find on a Linux system, just you find a lot more of them, but. Um, Oh uh, yeah, they got the CD command too. All right, so let's do CD slash bin. Mm. You have no idea how uh, how satisfying that is. Um, to view the contents of the current folder you're in, use the yeah. We already got that. The ls command. There are no programs here, but you should look at config text in case it contains useful information. So we got ls. So we got config text. Here's the real test. Will this Totally useless. Now to clear your tracks before you leave, move up a folder in the directory key. You see, ooh, cd dot dot. Yes, use the yep, wildcard indicates back or up. Ooh, man, they have like a full virtual Linux terminal in here so far anyway. Move to the log folder. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, they even have rm, rm star. Yes. Ah. Uh. Delete all files in this directory. RM star. Bye bye. Excellent work. Disconnect from this computer. You can do so using the DC or disconnect command. DC. Now, normally it'd be exit, but. Well, I can give them some slack because so far they've been spot on with those commands. All right, congratulations, you completed this guided section of the tutorial. To finish, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. The help command will give you a complete command list at any time. Psh, we don't need that because we should be able to just say PS. Ooh, look at that. And then we should be able to say P kill 226. Ooh. And uh, no, <laughs> I have not played this game before. I just know uh, a bit about Linux. So that's why I'm getting excited here that this stuff is actually working. Um, now, what is this? Uh, mail, all right, first contact. Hi, I don't know you, and I'm sad to say that I never will, but if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Alright, so this is a bit. That's the guy that said he was dead. Uh, right now I'm trapped, there's no way out, and not enough time, and I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first. The faster, the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect your own node. It should be green on your map. Then find and delete securitytracer.exe. When you're done, just reply to this email. Hurry! Bit. What's this red thing that popped up? Jmail. Oh, that's where we are. That's the mail server. All right, cool, cool. Um, so it's saying connect to our server and then find something called securitytracer.exe and delete it. All right. LS. Um... I had to guess it'd probably be either bin or system. So let's see. Yep, yep, there it is, bin. Uh, good old binaries folder. All right, rm. Here we go. Does tab complete? Oh, tab completion works. Mmm. Get him out of here. You have no idea how nice that is. Like, I love this game already. Just, just because, like, I mean, it's probably like, Totally unrealistic so far, right? Like, real hacking, definitely not like this, but 
just the fact that they sprinkled in like the realistic um, Linux uh, additional details. I don't even know. Um, the, the actual stuff like that. So awesome. Uh, Alright, getting some tools together. Great, that should keep you safe for now, at least from your own computer. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Port hack alone isn't going to cut it on most modern computers you'll find. Not ones with anything worth looking at, anyway. You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful, I know. He's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box, but he always seems to get a hold of useful code. You should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit more of a challenge. You can, for the most part, ignore the generic files, stuff that gets logged or saved by a program, five, uh, IRC logs and the like, um, custom name things like EXE files, where you want to look out for. I almost said I recall correctly, but no, they're actually talking about internet relay chat. Um, download any files you can using the command SC oh, SCP, nice, alright, good luck, reply again when you're done. Uh, okay, I want the Viper thingy, I guess, what's this, quick reference sheet, what is that? Oh, that's cool. Use a ramp. Quick reference guide. Analyze security system using probe. Use port hack. Scan. Clear logs. Download files. That's just like a little. That's, that's nice that you can have like notes and that there's a set limit of how much you have with your uh, your ram. All right. Let's uh, probe. So we want end map. Bop, 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 bop. And then we want port hack. Ugh. Yeah, hacking is not this easy. Um, in real life. Uh, YouTubers text, notes text, as diff text, email draft text. All right. And then we want to go to check out bin, bin. Uh, SSH crack ah SSH nice all right so that looks like something we would want um, just for shits and giggles X server huh, X server that's great Curious, what is this? YouTubers to check out. Okay. How about that? Free advertising for those guys. Um, I guess we can just go like that. And then what is notes? Finally managed to torrent that sweet new hacks or a program from the server Gollum told me about. This is so sick. Can't wait to try it out. Just got to work out how to use it first. All right. And we have as uh, this text induction test 19915 proxy server need something about overloading it maybe got to research it or maybe there's a program that will help we'll ask for more money 199 hmm. I don't have that server listed I'm gonna snap a quick picture of that though, because I'm sure in the hell gonna try and connect to it. Uh, Alright, there we go. Picture. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and connect to that once we're done here. Um, cat. Email draft. Sorry I haven't emailed you in a while. I've been really busy with school. Year 11 is hard, but I think I'm doing okay. I actually wanted to ask for a little help. I need some new software for a school project. It's called ftpbounce.exe. It's really useful. It'll cost a lot though. I've run out of the money you sent me last time. All this IT project software is really expensive. Is there any chance you send another $2,000 to my account? It'd really help out. Thanks, love you, Tim. $2,000. Man. 
Um, so what's in the work folder then? CD work. Um, lots of crap. All right. Jasper level. Got those keys. You got the cash. Got it ready to be wired. I've uploaded the first half on the drop server. Once the transfer has been completed, you will get the final keys. Cool, checking it out now. Awesome, they work. Can I have my money now? Sent. Received. Who would have thought Call of Soldier would be so popular this year? <laughs> Hottest thing this year. Gamers. Call of Soldier. Nice. Play on Call of Duty, obviously. Um, target. I want a refund. I'm sorry, sir, but we cannot refund based on change of mind. Might I suggest that you relist the item on JBay? <laughs> I don't want to list the item on your damn auction site. I told you I accidentally hit the bid button instead of the watch button. I'm so sorry, sir, but our policy doesn't cover accidental button presses. So you'll have to accept that the Penetrator 9000 is yours. <laughs> or you can try to recuperate the cost via our auction settings. You've messed with the wrong customer. I'll make you rue this day. Thank you, sir. And may I wish you have a pleasant evening. And a trader 9,000. What the fuck? What is that? Jesus. Um, ripped pre-release log. You fucked it up. 18 months of time. $3 million per game about watching mobile phone screens. Fuck. Whoa, calm down, man. People are going to love this. It's like a statement on the state of the world. Like, if you walk down the street lately, people always have their heads buried in their phones. They don't even notice it. So we made a game that has you driving, walking, shooting, and hacking while constantly looking at your phone. It's genius! The board is going to have my ass for this. We better give it a good name. And some hardcore box art. And add some bloom effect. That always gets the kids. Oh man, these logs, they're freaking hilarious. Uh, how did it go? It was a nightmare. Why? We spent the night at the lookout. It was super romantic. Then we started making out. Then started fooling around, you know. And then, er, uh, what? Spit it out. It, uh, ended sooner than expected. Like, close to lawn sooner. Da 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 da. Ha 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 Shut up. Dude, God, dude, never admit that to anyone again. You're lucky we're friends, otherwise I'd tell everyone that story. Anyway, gotta go, more Cody to do. Oh, good, see you at school tomorrow. Don't get there too early. Well, that was mostly useless, but still amusing all the same. Um... Ah, come on, come on. You lose points on that one. You see, whenever you just do regular CD, it's supposed to take you back to um, home directory, right? So it should have jumped me up back to the main, the, the root. But, oh well. Oh, wait a minute. I want to try something else out. Let's try this, right? And then we try... Hey, hey, hey nice. All right. Um, anyway, I think what we wanted was in bin. Yeah, so we want SCP, SSH, crack. Give me that. All right, transfer complete. Uh, and then we want to clear our logs, I think. That'd be good. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, because I'm in bin. Yeah, CD, log. And we got lots of crap there. Goodbye. Active uh, needs one port. Um, I think we're gonna leave that be. All right. Um, eh, we close that. Free up our RAM. Uh, let's see. I think we were supposed to send a message back to him once we got some stuff. Yeah. Reply. Send. 
All right, maiden flight. Congratulations. I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder, but if you're seeing this, it means uh, you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's really useful. Uh, you should try breaking one of my old test servers. If Viper had the sort of thing he's known for, get for getting lying around, you should have everything you need to get in. Remember, any non-basic programs you get need a port number to run like this. SSH crack 22, file name, port number. All right. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and in case you don't know already, you can hit tab to autocomplete commands. Hitting SSH, then tab should autocomplete it to the full name, etc. Works for everything! Yes, I already know. Good luck. Uh, Alright, so we got the Bitwise test PC. Let's get that on our map. And security basics guide. I did. Yeah, I don't need any of that crap. We're good. So now, Bitwise test PC. Alright, so we'll end map it. Boom, 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 boom. So he's got web server, mail server, FTP server, and SSH. So I think we have the SSH crack around. So that'll be SSH crack. And it looks like it's running on port 22, which is the standard SSH port. Um, that's fancy. We like the green. Ding! Port 22. Um, again, completely unrealistic, but still pretty cool. And then we should be able to do port hack, like so. And you see each uh, hacking thing we run uses up RAM while we run it. That's cool. Alright, we are the administrator. Let's see, you got anything good on here? Anything useful? Uh, Hobbs terminal guide dot text dot text. Sounds interesting. Handy list of commands you'll want from the command line. Cat, cd, ls, cd, replace. What's this now? Place file name, string one, string two, replaces the specified content of the target file with the stuff you want to replace it with. Interesting. Uh, there's the move command, all right. Fork bomb. It's not specified, but it's a useful panic button if you need to down a system in a hurry. You'll need admin rights for this one. You can fork bomb your own system as a defensive measure. Defensive measure? Is somebody going to be hacking me? Interesting. Shell sets up a remote host on a system where you've admin access. This can be run on your own system as a defensive measure. So you trap for details. Now that's interesting. That, uh, since they talk about all these defensive measures. Um. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if there'll be like uh, enemies that try and attack us. Cause they, they didn't have anything like that in. Um, uh, what do you mean? Oh yeah, um, in Uplink. Um, now we can go to bin. Nothing. What about sis? Gosh. Just random crap. All right. Let's go to the log folder and. Nuke it. And then DC. Alright. Cruising right along here. Uh, reply. Send. Something in return. What do we got? Nice work! Here's where it's going to start getting harder. I need to ask a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. That's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs on a few computers that I prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go in there and RM star the whole thing. Never forget to. Thanks, good luck. Yep, that is true. I lost uh, many a game of Uplink by jacking up the logs, which is why I've been uh, clearing them out here. All right, so we get a uh, P. Anderson's bedroom. Uh, another nice thing about this is, so far these have all been valid IP addresses. Um, adds into the uh, realism sense. Uplink just had 
crazy numbers everywhere. Alright, what is this? Request details. Delete all files in the target computer's log folder. The command arm, blah, 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 blah. Use it carefully. Cool. Oh. I wonder if they'd let me uh, completely brick a, one of these systems. Because, uh, you know, on a... On a, on a whoops. Yeah, P. Anderson. Um, on a Linux box, you know, if you go to the, uh, the root of the system and you do RM... Uh, or, well, I guess it has to be sudo. Um, but yeah, you do uh, sudo rm uh, star. Uh, no, you do sudo. Uh, you have to do f. You have to do dash r f to recursive and force. Um, and then slash. Um, and that would uh, delete everything off your hard drive. And then the next time you tried to boot out the computer, it wouldn't be able to do anything. Um, so that's it interesting um, thing to try. Uh, I don't really want to try now in case I actually break something and can't progress. Um, uh, let's see if you have anything useful. Documents and work. All right. well, let's check out what you got, man. What do you mean invalid milk? It's just capital W. Poor email draft. Well, what are you up to? Nothing conclusive got leads. Laptop was stolen convention. Contained the dossier reports. Had copied the most likely one over here. Was sure I had. We'll submit with details of what we found soon. Well, that seems kind of sketchy. Um, can I use... Oh, I can use this to navigate. Alright, that's probably a little faster than typing it in. Even though typing it in is fun. Uh, personal letter draft. I know you don't understand the choices that I've made, and I don't expect you to. What I do expect, however, is the common decency to respect those choices and to continue treating me as your child. Until you're willing to do that, I'm sorry, but I need to leave Boston. I can't bear to be in the same city knowing that my hero, my role model, is living in the same place, ignoring my existence. I've tried my hardest to be accommodating, understanding, and to try and explain this transition, but I can't handle it anymore. I'm going to head out to LA with James. If you want to talk, you have my numbers. Please know that I haven't made this decision lightly. This is something I have to do, and I hope that in time you will learn to accept me for who I really am. Interesting. Police report. Blah, blah, blah. Tax return. Aww. Can't get any goodies from that. Work. Report. Log. That's what we want to axe. Valance dossier. So somebody jacked his dossier. Goodbye. IP masked. No goodies there. All right. Axe the logs and get out of here. All right. DC. I think that's all he wanted us to do. We got roped into this too, anyway. Like, we just find this computer and turned it on, and now we're doing what it tells us to. Well, that's pretty sketchy. Um, all right. If you see this, you've done well, and well, all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I realize that I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn, and I don't have time to do any of it. So I'm going to need to ask something more. Well, fuck you, man. There's a group that goes by the name Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells open using the command shell. Running on computers you've already got admin access on should be able to overload it. Good luck and thank you. Yes, I almost forgot. If you're into trouble, I've linked the Network Education Archive server too. It's got a, use, a lot of useful info on it. Okay. And entropy test server. Is that right on top of another one? Oh no! Wait a minute. That was that. Uh, that was what I tried to connect to before. That was on that other dude's computer. Okay. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. All right. What's this? Delete uh, all of the. I don't want that. Uh, all right, if you run shells on computers, you have admin access to a shell. You sh the shells to overload the target proxy. Net edu archives will have more details. Okay. 
So that's just saying, like... Do I have uh, admin accesses? Yeah, let me administrate that. So they're saying to come over here and say, Shell. Trap. Overload. Okay. Cool, I guess. Um, Bitwise test PC, that's probably a good one to use. Shell, alright. Cool. Um, what is that? Viper Battle Station? P Anderson? Yeah, we'll go back to Viper. I think three shells, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, now, what do I do with them? Do I overload? I guess it might help if I connected to the, the thing first. Um, that's nice that it highlights ones I have shells on. Suppose I'll have to go back to those and clear the logs. Um, all right, proxy detected. So the proxy, I guess. Well, let's just see what they have to say. Proxy server quick guide. Proxy servers function as a buffering layer between a target computer and a connecting counterpart that filters, caches, and monitors incoming traffic to both optimize web performance for repeated queries and prevent some kinds of attacks. The most well-recognized flaw in proxy servers is their upper memory limit, which, when reached, will force them to allow unchecked traffic to pass through. To exploit this, hackers and testers will often run shells on other computers that an attacker has access to, often using the built-in shell program. Then, when a collection of shells on servant machines will connect to a target computer and use the shell's overload functionality to flood the target's proxy computer with junk data, allowing other potentially harmful traffic through. So, yeah, we gotta connect to this. We gotta end map it. Then we have to hit overload. Oh, we can make that go real fast. We use all three. But really, I guess we could have just used one. This is proxy bypassed. Um, SSH. Uh, crack 22. We can bust into the SSH port while our shells keep the proxy at bay. And that's open, and then we can say port hack and then crack that. Alright, that's pretty cool. Entropy test server. We are the administrator. Alright, what do we got on here? Man, you know, I have not been scanning the network. Probably missed out on a lot of cool stuff. No, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Was it scan? Scan complete. Yeah, okay. Um, so hey, now that we're the administrator on that, let's go over here. Scan network. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, can't do that. Yeah, yeah, see, look at that. Entropy asset cache. What is that, eh? Why did he know about that? Uh, nope, can't do anything there. Bad from the thing we're interacting. Yeah, alright, so you see, we found this. What is this? Firewall detected. Um. Alright, well. <laughs> out of luck there unless uh, firewall analysis and solutions. All right. Firewalls have been around for a very long time, most often serving to prevent automated foreign network traffic rather than secure against dedicated hackers. Modern firewall server can be figured to prevent all security critical traffic unless it is prefixed by a firewall solution, often referred to as a password to end users, though there is a distinct difference between the two. In this situation, the firewall solution will need to be provided before an unsyndicated login attempt can be attempted. Effectively meaning that any known password cracking software will be useless while firewall is active. Firewall complexity can be examined with the analyze command. The analyze command multiple times will automatically detect patterns in the response data headers and will eliminate characters. It can guarantee are not a part of the correct firewall solution. Once a potential solution is found, the command is solved. The firewall solution can be used to attempt to syndicate. Alright, well let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Um, so there's nothing to scan here. Oh, well, let's check out the probing the file system. Yeah, it just pulls that up again. All right, so let's view the file system. Uh, to home, entropy induction test. Okay, well, that's nice. We'll check that in a minute. What's in bin? Bit, please read. 
Admins are lazy.txt, so gold.txt. And there's a lot of crap in there. Um, let's go back to home. Mm, love it. Alright, uh, cat entropy crap. Congratulations! Download this file to complete your induction test. Entropy will be contacting you shortly. Oh, okay. That's nice. Um, cool. Yep, well, that was fast. Uh, let's go to bin. Zero cool. Hack the planet dot text. You fools bow down to me! I got mad skills and you know it. Yeah, I don't even know who you are, so kind of hard to bow down to you. Uh, report. Assuming you know what retort means, let me start by saying you are nothing but a scrub. It probably took you all week to work out how to smash through that proxy. I bet you're probably 12, thinking you could hack the planet from your mom's 386. Good luck, kid. Move on and let the pros handle. <laughs> uh, fun. Alright, need help text. If you're here, chances are you know a thing or two about getting into places you don't belong. Those idiots over at Stormwind have totally ruined the balance of Shaitan 3 with the latest auction house patch. I've been a super fan since the original Shaitan was released in 96, and I say we stick it to them and bring that auction house down. If you want in, leave a text file in here and I'll find you. <laughs> Woe lie bang. 400 gin Stormwind online. Lols. Admins are pretty pissed at you, Slagfire. The Chinese contingency has been hammering the servers all night requesting gold. What the hell? <laughs> That's pretty hilarious that they have all these things in here about people organizing to attack an MMO, it sounds like. No one ever remembers to clear out the bin folder, too. This is a test server, Scrubs. It's designed for people to break in. At least tidy up. But then we wouldn't have all this funny crap. So gold dot Stormman online gold dot text. Okay. Are you tired of quests to take up all of your time? Do you wish you could spend a long, happy life without the worry of money for mounts? Then look no farther than So Gold, the ultimate farming service for Stormman online players. For a small fee, we will take care of your account and ensure that you have enough gold to buy all of the items you could ever want. All we need is a down payment of twenty nine ninety nine USD. Your Stormman online account details and we will get you more gold than you could ever imagine yeah that's not a scam or anything a uh, bit please read bit if you're lurking can you please come out of the shadows i need to talk to you vapor won't get off my back my case saying something's wrong she's sure something's going on let me know well yeah bit's kind of dead uh, blah 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 shitload of logs we're gonna clear those Goodbye. Nobody sees, nobody knows. All right. DC. I guess that I have to come over here and, uh, and let me close these shells. I don't think I need those. I don't need notes. Okay, axe that. Disconnect. I think we had one on the Bitwise test PC. View the logs. Goodbye. Bop, 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 ba -da, bop, 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 bop. Gone. And I think we had one on Dangler Interactive. Yep. And that should be all of our logs from the shells. All right, so that's pretty cool. I'm totally digging this so far, um, but I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, call it an episode before we open up our mail here from Entropy. Uh, so thank you for watching, and uh, we will see you in the next one when we return with more Hacknet.